48 hours. Tonight at 10, 9 central on CBS. It is May 21st, 2022. Welcome to CBS Saturday Morning. Extreme weather, millions of Americans facing potentially dangerous conditions this weekend. Extreme heat in the east, snow out west, and a deadly tornado in the Midwest. We'll have the latest forecast. Title 42 decision. A judge blocks President Biden's plan to let migrants claim asylum at the border. We'll have details on what is next for the controversial policy. Jump at the pump, gas prices rise another 16 cents in just one week. As frustration builds, what will it mean for the looming summer driving season? And a legend returns. Ten-time Grammy-winning Rock and Roll Hall of Famer Bonnie Raitt is back with a new album and a new honor for the record that jump-started her career three decades ago. We'll catch up with her, and she'll perform in our Saturday session. But first, we begin this morning with a look at today's eye-opener. Your world in 90 seconds. President Joe Biden is in South Korea on the first leg of a high stakes trip to Asia. The alliance is a linchpin of peace, stability, and prosperity. The federal judge blocked ending a policy to expel migrants seeking asylum to prevent the spread of COVID. We've got to ensure that it is done in an orderly fashion, that it creates no more chaos. Russia claims that it has taken full control of the southern port city of Mariupol. Cases of COVID-19 are increasing once again across the U.S. Nearly one-third of Americans currently live in high-risk areas for infection. We need to get the word out to the public that we are still in a pandemic. The U.S. now has its first confirmed case of monkeypox, a second potential case also under investigation. West, a deadly tornado left devastation behind and ripping homes apart and overturning cars. A nine-year-old boy is recovering after being rescued from a burning home in Florida. You all right, bud? The Dubs had Dallas right where they wanted them. And Golden State is heading to the Big D with a 2-0 series lead. continues to grapple with rising costs from the gas pump to the grocery store. It's going to be a great weekend to grab some burgers and beers and have a barbecue once you've sold a kidney to afford the burgers and the beers. Because inflation is still running rampant. Costs are so high that America's favorite new game show is The Price is What? This morning's eye-opener is presented by Progressive, making it easy to bundle insurance. I mean, it sounds about right. Mm -hmm. Seriously, right go to the now. grocery store every time. What? Just drive around a little bit. Yeah. Oof. Welcome to the weekend, everyone. I'm Jeff Glor, along with Dana Jacobson. Michelle Miller is off, so we are thrilled to welcome one of our regular yeah. contributors to the show, Nancy Chen. Very good to be here with you guys. It's Thanks great. for having me. It's great to have you. We, we share a local news lineage in we, Boston. Boston. Dana lives part-time in I'll Boston. I'll be there, Celtics. God, I was using Boston yeah. accents this morning. <laughs> and we're going to hit the streets of Boston. That's fantastic. Today. Doesn't get any better than that. With Ken Casey. He is the front man of the platinum selling band Dropkick Murphys, a band so beloved during the pandemic, more than 10 million people watched as they raised money for charity on the field at Fenway Park, joined by Bruce Springsteen. Ken has faced ups and downs in his life, but is currently riding high with a new endeavor into food. We're going to talk with him about his remarkable journey. I can't wait for that one. Then he is considered one of the greatest stand-ups of all time. Can't wait for this either. Few know the life story of George Carlin, though. We're going to sit down with acclaimed director Judd Apatow, who has just released a documentary series on the legendary comedian. Plus, it's a TV series that chronicles a Korean family across four generations. Pachinko has gotten rave reviews and was just renewed for a second season. We'll talk to the star of the series and its creator about why it's touched a nerve. Then we'll go to the Croatian coast by way of this Chicago restaurant. In the dish, a visit to the Windy City's former meatpacking district to talk with chef Joe Flam how the skills that helped him win top chef are now leading to success in his hometown. And get this, we're going to catch up with Rock and Roll Hall of Famer Bonnie Raitt as she releases her first album in six years. Our chat 
that, plus a performance of her new songs in our Saturday session. That and so much more is all ahead. But we begin this morning with the extreme and potentially dangerous weather that is blanketing much of the nation this weekend. Heat advisories are in effect from Vermont to Virginia with record high temperatures expected from Texas to Florida and extending as far north as Ohio. Just for contrast, another round of snow is expected in Colorado. In northern Michigan, a rare tornado raked the small city of Gaylord Friday. It's about 230 miles northwest of Detroit. It killed at least one person, injured at least 40. In Texas, a heat